ayikhaza ayikinto eyenzeke emhlabeni uNkulu Nkulu engayi vumelanga yena ngoba ke namhlanje sizokhuluma nje sizokhotha ama verse ambalo bathi ukuqala nje ufunda i verse lami lokuqala sizoqala lapha ya ku chapter number 5 the book of second corinthians sifunde u verse number 7 and 8 which i will use it to base my talk nje ukukhumbuzana nokuthaza nalapha nalapha bazalwane akukho okuningi lalifunde kakhona ngale ndlela ukuthi lithi for we walk by faith not by sight u verse number 8 uthi we are confident yes well please rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the lord um so lana bazalwane u paul ubhala kakhulu ubhalela abazalwane base corinth kuya bakhuthaza kakhulu ngendaba nje yokukholwa eh ukuthi do siphila sisemhlabeni zino sizibona zenzeka asihambi by sight asihambi ngalo ke sikubonayo kodwa kakhulu kunakho konke sihamba ngokukholwa siyakholwa nathi ukuthi nakulo esikhathi esiphila kusona abazalwane base kukhuthazeka ukuthi bahambe kakhulu ngokukholwa ngicabanga ukuthi one of the reasons why i had to go and quote this verse i had to look at impilo ka paul in general ukuthi some of us may be worried worried about this mass lockdown and everything that is happening around us but as i was praying and preparing for this afternoon something really uh, hit me hard in my spirit ukuthi actually we call this a lockdown we call this a difficult period can we imagine what the people uh, like paul had to go through because if you remember he spent most of his time as a child of god as a minister of the word being in prison so that already tells you that out of all that he went through god was never surprised in fact god wanted to achieve great things through paul being in prison and if you remember for instance we read so many books today that were written by paul and some of them he wrote them as a jail so sikhonukuthola lapho bazalana ukuthi nothing happens ngaphandle kokuthi uNkulunkulu akubheke akuwe akubone ukuthi ungenze kaphezu kwethu singabantwana bakhe but moreover what is more than important ukuthi njengabazalwane singalibale ukufuna sihlolisise ukuthi yini kahle kahle le uNkulunkulu asuke ifuna kithi noma asuke ifuna ku achieve throughout that period because if you think for instance even the life of John the apostle not John and I waboshwa wabasesiqiniso sasepatmos but during that process God delivered the book of revelation and then you think of Paul as I've already alluded Ayla God was able to then deliver the many epistles that Paul wrote that we can refer to today basically what I'm saying is instead of us as the body of Christ looking at this as a crisis but we should look at this situation we should look at this uh, lockdown as an opportunity to spend time with God and actually get to interact with God and try try and find out exactly what does God want to achieve through us in this world during this period because you may find it we may miss the opportunity trying to second guess what exactly does god want to do is god angry at us as many things that people are busy arguing and debating about but for me my only plea today is that for each and every one of us in our corner wherever we are during this lockdown period let us seek god and his righteousness let us seek his will let him give us the direction and the way forward that we can follow and i think on this very same chapter of the second corinthians chapter number 5 umunkala wehlana from verse number 15 there is a very important scripture that i want to quote which refers to jesus christ as the one who died for us it, so the scriptures reads there ukuthi he died for all who are living he died for everyone so that whoever is alive noma ke bonke abaphilayo bangabe basaziphilela bona bodwa abaphilele yena So already from reading from that scripture we real we begin to realize that as we live as the body of Christ as we live as the children of God in this world it is no longer about us but it is about Christ who lives in us it is about the manifestation and the vindication and the revelation of Jesus Christ to the world through us so if the bible says that he died for all those who are living ukuze bangabe basaziphilela bona kodwa abaphilele bona So it's it kada kusitshela ukuthi kahle kahle uma ungumntwana kaNkulunkulu uma ukholwa akusekho ongathi uziphilela khona zininge izinto ebesingafisa kuzenza out there during this period but what a great opportunity to be alive what a season to be alive where we can actually spend time with God and actually ask ourselves and ask of God with God during my lifetime you brought me to this planet earth what do you want out of me while there is this lockdown period when we, when i come out of the lockdown period what do you expect of me as your child uh, aligned with the purpose so basically if you continue reading there it tells us that so obviously eh yeah so what now there is no more buddha say ukumazi ngokwesimo sakhe saqala so 
if a man be in Christ, he's a new creation. The old has passed and the new has come. So already from there, we see that once somebody dies with Christ and get resurrected, you know, appeal imperial call, obviously we die through baptism. Uh, I cannot uh, expand much on that due to the time constraints. So once somebody is born again, once somebody is a child of God, so already that person has surrendered his or her life to Jesus Christ to live in accordance with the will of God and, the, and, and actually making sure that each and every one of us fulfill God's purpose for our life. So basically, when we read from there, I think the most important thing, especially there may be some who may be thinking of many things, uh, but Loguti Sesafa, if you read the Pablo Colossians chapter 3, I mean chapter, chapter, chapter 3 from verse number 3, Listera Guti, for we died and our lives are hidden with Christ in heaven. So if Opila Guetu feels you again in Christ, there is nothing in this world that you can fear. Ayiko Indolengas Tusa, Ayiko Indolengas Japisa, and Ayiko Indolengas Kadas. In fact, it's Najanga Bazalone. We are supposed to be the salt of the world. We are supposed to be the beacon of hope amongst people around us. We shouldn't be the one that are seen fearing and, uh, you know, but we should be the one that people can run to because we stand in prayer and we stand in the word of God. I think it's very important what um, Paul writes there in the book of Colossians chapter, chapter 3 because he starts saying that our life is hidden with Christ. So basically, whether there is coronavirus or there is TB, there is HIV, AIDS, there, there can be anything in the world. What we know for the fact is that our lives are hidden with Christ in heaven. Therefore, we cannot be contaminated by anything. Philippians chapter 1 verse 21. For me to live is Christ and to die is great gain. So, if you if you learn the from that context, you will never expect what Abba Zalwane gube yibo laba Abba fieri shaguti the world might be coming to an end or things might be going against us and oh what is happening to the world. We shouldn't be worried at all because basically from that scripture in Philippians one verse twenty one there are two things. One, if I live, it is for the glory of God, but if I die, it is for the great gain because I shall be home with God forever. I shall, there shall be no death, there shall be no pain, there shall be no more suffering. But the part I want to focus on mostly today is the first part. Uti, for me to live is Christ. Which means what Paul is trying to say there, as long as he's still alive, his life is fully dedicated to serving the will of God. And whether it's during the time when he was in prison, or it's during the time when he was out of prison, whether it was during the time when he was beaten, whether he was going through sufferings and pain, for him, as long as he lived, it was about living a life that glorifies the Lord Jesus Christ. And I think for me, that what should be the drive for each and every one of us, because as I've said when I started earlier, God is not surprised by what happened. God is not panicking. And so as his children, we shouldn't be panicking. Because I think the most paramount verse for me is the one that talks about peace. Because Jesus says in John 14 that, Peace I give unto you, but not as the world give. So if the Prince of Peace, that is Jesus Christ, is dwelling amongst us as believers, definitely, by all means, we should be at peace through thick and thin, through the difficult times and through the good times. Because within us resides the Prince of Peace. And we don't have the peace as the world gives, but we have got the peace of the Prince of Peace. And Yamona, I've made some notes here, Wuti. Uh, basically, throughout this period, number one, we must just know that God created this opportunity to draw us nearer to Him. And we need to also find a way to, re to ready ourselves to serve accordingly the will of our, I mean accordingly uh, in, 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 our, in our calling and in uh, accordance with the perfect will of God. So, but there is one thing that is often lacking as believers that I believe that for me, for one, that God would want to achieve to, uh, uh, amongst his children during this period. We, most of the Christians, they tend to get saved and life follow. And we therefore need to go to this nigga as a tuba, logo to see cool and mass in Ungulungu. Mirangi Bona Lenjanga Tubalote, a bazan and Mangasale Makaya, Bazling as a matuba, go to Batandaze, Bazling as a matuba, go to Bafunde is Lugangulu, Bazling as a matuba, go to Gakuru Gakuru. 
bakhule kumazini unkulunkulu ngiyakholwa ukuthi abanye bethu abakazi nokwazi ukuthi kahle kahle unkulunkulu ungibizele ini icebo lakhe ngempilo yami liyini what a great opportunity you have got all the time in the world it's not like paul who was in prison it's not like john who was in patmos in, in patmos already without eyes you are home with your family you can start a prayer night you can worship and fellowship you can share the weight you can partake you can spend time in your bedroom in your in, in, in your own study room in your dining room you can isolate yourself in prayer not necessarily because you're sick so you have got this great opportunity so basically this is a platform for great discovery to discover who you are and who god has called and purposed you to be because the most important thing once we have done everything we must all be able to say ukuthi uNkulunkulu sikulwile ukulwa okuhle siqedile ibanga lokhamba kwethu sibe silifezekisile icebo likaNkulunkulu eh phezu kwezimpilo zethu bazalwane kakhulu kakhulu engufunde kakhulu ngoNkulunkulu ukuthi uma avumela isimo esikhulu ukuthi senzeke phezu kwabantwana bakhe he always has a way out and it is not for the children of god to worry about how they will come out of it you know I, i'm reminded about his story someone don't about israel uma unkulunkulu ababiza abakhiphe gibit he purposefully led them to the red sea and as they were facing the red sea ba begena no landlo lubovu to them it was a nightmare but to god it was an opportunity to demonstrate his power so even namanje bazalwane some people our friends our relatives our colleagues and everybody around us can be worried about what is going to happen of south africa what is going to happen of the world but i'm saying to you unkulunkulu is seeing an opportunity to demonstrate his power whether during this time or even when we come out of this lockdown period and therefore all we need to do is to align ourselves with god's purpose for our lives and to seek god and his righteousness there is a verse that one of the speakers that spoke over the weekend i think it was pastor b e mabas that he quoted in second peter chapter 1 from verse number 3 that la pelezi khone bible his divine power has given us everything we need for this life and through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and purpose so this divine power is nikeza konke esidinga yakwalo kuphila but lokho sikuthola through our knowledge of him so umufunda ku first peter i mean go second peter chapter 2 um, chapter 1 from verse number 3 it is clear ukuthi this divine power that god has given us it is only through our knowledge of him some of us have lacked a lot in our knowledge of our lord jesus christ in aku paul in some of the epistles our paleleo ubeka buza kobanye abazalwane ukuthi kanti nina nimfunde njani uchristu because of the surprises that he was seeing noma kuzinto ebese observe kula abazalwane baningi phakathi kwethu abazalwane okungenzeka ukuthi vele bese bakhohliwe balibele but this is an opportunity to actually Uh, expand our knowledge expand our horizon in our understanding of the god we serve and more than anything without forgetting what we are ambassadors of god we should be the source of the point of reference and the source of inspiration and the source of hope for this world hence jesus refers to us as the salt of the world and as bazalone sengiyanga said the name i would like to quote one of the scriptures in uh, philippians chapter number four when you start from verse number 6 the bible la politi be anxious about nothing yabona uma lethi be anxious about noma ke ngesizulu lethi ke ningakhathazeki ngalutho kodwa kukho konke izicelo zenu mazaziwe ngunkulunkulu ngemikhuleko nangokuncusa so bazana during this period during this time nobody should be anxious if i not jesus ngaphakathi Nobody should be worried abe and a prince of peace nobody should be without peace while i serve a prince of peace and if ever you feel u temple yakho you lack the peace of god that surpasses all understanding mina bengi ngacela ukuthi engathi ubunga khuleka umcelo uNkulunkulu ukuthi agcwalise ngalokuthula lokho athi kubafundi bakhe ku John chapter 14 ukuba ubashiya nakho and hayi nje ngalokho izwe lip so we've got the prince of peace who left us with peace so we should live by that peace and and, and then a little bible everything 
throughout all seasons during the good times whether there is coronavirus or no coronavirus whether people are talking about the mark of the beast or they are not talking about the mark of the beast as long as it's a pillar as long as Iman is a person who 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 is a I don't think we'll even have the time in this world to be worried about will the mark of the beast or the great tribulation find us here or not here because we know and we trust what the script has said. We know that God will never allow us to go through any pain and tribulation that he has not empowered us to handle. And we believe what most of the things that are written in the Bible, they will happen while the church is gone. So we shouldn't be worried or even think maybe the rapture is late or Jesus Christ might be late or the church is late. Nobody is late and nothing is late. The only thing that is for us to do as long as we are still alive, as long as we still breathe, let us seek God's purpose for our time. Let us seek God's purpose for the hour at hand and serve him with due diligence. And more than anything, as the scripture says, in all we do, in, in verse number 8, we must think about all the good things, all the noble things of God. And Umufundo verse 7, Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, Uktula gangulungul ogu zolo konda gonge. Yiko ogyo londo loza isn't izio nem perfumlo yetu. Eme ngu pete kakulu bazo na namisha njuguti. We have got the Prince of Peace. Ono Musa no tando ngezi mpilo zetu. He will never allow us to go through a situation. Abe anga na yo i grace is sufficient or si sustain throughout through that period. Even during this time, people are worried about many things. People are worried about their source of income. People are worried about their jobs and everything. But we are the children of God. God never said we shall live by income. He said we shall live by faith. By faith, we're going to go through the situation. By faith, we're going to prevail and overcome. And by faith, we're going to come out stronger. We must see Pumagule locked down. And we shouldn't be worried. Even if the lockdown takes another five weeks, even if the lockdown takes another five months, it is not for us to worry. But it is for us to seek God and his righteousness. And his peace that surpasses all understanding shall always keep our minds and hearts in Jesus Christ. Bazala ni busesegani ni sashele makaya ni nga katazegi ni metembo ngulungulu nazi nde yoto kutubu koko ongo wenza kalayo ngulungulu peke kulu uwoti loo na loo alfese gise itrebo lake nga mpilo ya loo na loo ambegi le mtabeni. Mbaguzu kusizu kshala stabuli sane aguzu kusizu aguti sipume siwa sebenza everyday kube gandhi sila shegelene nenjo ongo yetu yote sipile lani la mtabeni. And as long as we are aligned with God's purpose for our lives Nothing shall come against us and nothing shall prevail against us. Not even the devil himself. He can try many tricks. He can try to scare us. There are many conspiracy theories going around the world. But over and above everything, we must just know that we have got God who is capable of carrying us through and through. And his grace will forever be sufficient for us until the time come for us to go home. And as long as we are still here, somebody used to quote when I was still a, a high school boy, would say, you know, we must dream as if we will never die and live as if it's our last day on earth. And that's what we should do as the body of Christ. Let us be eager to serve God as if it will never end. But in our daily behavior, behave as if it's your last day so that when the time come for us to go home, we shall all be ready. And not just be ready, we would have fulfilled God's purpose for our life. For our lives. Stay blessed, Bazalwani. Nibosisa yaga kolo. Ena tungulu kula na nibosisa. Ana ke atumele lesun kolo yeno. Nikutali le Bazalwani funda isu gan kulo kulo. Si kule se uluaz luetu. Si kule mazi gan kulo kulo si pandaze. Si kule gisa na abana manda batole sabab taga taga. Njenga loke pa ipele lisho. Uze gume kwenze ga gu tungu kulo kula senza la YouTube. Loke tis pindes bonani. Noma mes bonana ngera lega December. Noma mes bonana ngo Good Friday ga 2021. As long as the sapina sa kolo ngulu ngulu sa zelo mo sa zelo strina uma adzona upone jele for years and years wadzina ujone se se patmos then what is lockdown? Even when we are with our families, we've got social media, we can fellowship. Ngulu 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 ngulu